Hey, what's up, everybody? How you doing? This is Chef Jay, and I'm answering some emails. I'm looking over my Twitter accounts and my Facebook page, and I ran across a posting on my Facebook page. My girl Melanie had got at me a few days ago. Uh, Melanie Solomon. I don't know if you can read it here or not, but so I'm just gonna go ahead and read it to you. This is a good question too. It was, uh, it was, Hey, Chef Jay, LOL. H how you doing, Melanie? <laughs> um, she says, What is the perfect salad to make at home? Because I am from down south and I want to try something a little different. Um, but I do love my own shrimp salad for the record. LOL. So, Melanie, shout out to your shrimp salad. I'm sure it's dope. Right? So, but if you want something like really original, I think I really want to put you on to this recipe I wrote about a year ago. Uh, which was for a turkey dinner salad. Now, turkey dinner salad is really just comprised of all the things that you have at your turkey dinner the night before. And I don't know how they do it where you at, but you know, in my house, there are certain things that are always at my turkey dinner. One, of course, is the turkey, right? But then you have, uh, we do a lot of grilled or, um, or sauteed apples. So we have a few apples, you know, Macintosh apples laying around the day afterwards, which is what I recommend for this recipe, my Macintosh apples. Um, but always, always, always sweet potatoes. Mashed sweet potatoes with the butter and the cinnamon and the sugar and the nutmeg and all that other good stuff. We have that every single time. So go to the store, grab yourself some, uh, gra grab yourself some, some mixed spring mixed greens or something like that. Um, put it on the plate, mound it up. You don't have to have too much, but enough to give yourself a good meal, obviously. And then take some of the leftover, take some of the leftover turkey meat. You can break it up with your fingers, just kind of shred it up uh, and arrange it on the plate, put it right on top of the greens, the way I like to do. And of course, the Macintosh apples, I shred, I slice them really thin. You can have them as thin as you like, but slice them up thin, uh, arrange them around the plate as well, or put it on top of the salad. It don't really matter. The point is, get them on the plate, right? <laughs> and then, uh, of course, the last thing, and what really makes this salad such a flavorful and, and just a, a beautiful salad, really, uh, we take, I take the, the mashed sweet potatoes and I actually make croutons out of them. So I take some, some panko breading or some just non, non seasoned breading and I take a little bit of the sweet potatoes, I roll it around in the panko or in the breading and I fry them, I lightly fry them in a canola oil or a, a soybean oil until they're nice and light golden brown. You don't have to kill them, but you want to make sure you drain them thoroughly so that they don't sit in the oil and become nasty you know that's that's no good at all right but take them sprinkle as many as you like over the salad they're full of flavor they're great uh, and for a dressing and this is really important as well this is not something you would put like a balsamic vinaigrette on you know even if you like balsamic vinaigrette this salad calls for something a little with a little more sweetness to it and I would recommend a, a light honey vinaigrette uh, I would also recommend I, I can really see somebody putting a fat free or a light uh, honey mustard on this on this salad as well. I think that would really touch the flavor off well. But there you go. That's your question, Melanie. Uh, thank you for it. Uh, that's you know that's 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 gonna keep you keep you nice. You know for for a little while. You can experiment with it. You can put cranberries on it. You can put cheese on it. You know you can do a lot of different things with it. You know mix it up. This is your turkey dinner salad. So thank you for your question. Anyone else who wants to hit me up on Facebook or on Twitter, you know you can get at me on Chef J. Uh, the Facebook page, or you can get at me through email at chefjayallday at gmail.com. Thank you. I want something